So when we think about color, we think about maybe drawing of different colors, right? So here's pink, here is green, here is blue, okay, and let's label this. This is blue, this is green. We're going to call the top one red. It's really looking kind of pink to me, but let's just call it red for now. This is red. So, when you think about different colors, you think about how am I observing those different colors with my eyeball, of course. How do I know that that's red, that that's green, that that's blue? Because you grew up on this planet and your teachers and your parents told you all along, look at that, that's blue. Look at that, that's green, that's red, okay? People gave you names to these different colors. But when you get into shades that are in between the colors and you start mixing colors, now you get into all these other names, right? And they're very subjective. So color is very subjective. It is your observation of the world. Okay? There is no definitive wavelength that is red. There's no definitive wavelength that's green or blue. There are ranges of color, and the visible spectrum goes from about 400 nanometers up to about 700 nanometers. And down at the low end, we've got blues. And somewhere in the middle, we've got greens. And somewhere up above, we've got reds. Okay. And when you think about all the colors in the rainbow, one of the things that they taught you was Roy G. Biv. Right? What does that mean? Red. Orange yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Okay, red is long wavelength. And violet is short wavelength. Okay, so reds are up here in the 600 to 700 range. Blues are down there in the 400 to 500 range. Okay, and then in between, you have all these different colors. So when you think about putting colors together, we picked red, green, and blue for a particular reason. And the reason that we picked those is because your computer monitor is made up of red, green, and blue dots. RGB. That's what RGB means. Red, green, and blue. Okay, so if you look at any computer monitor or your smartphone and you really zoom in on those dots, you'll see bars of red, bars of green, and bars of blue. And it's only when you step back and look at them all on top of each other that you can see the combination of those. 